Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Live here, and welcome back to part two of the, the Exploration Coaster Contest submissions. Uh, this is the middleweight category, which we have reorganized and rearranged, and it's only including the builder rank. And I'm also joined with Galcian and Lauren today again. Hey yo. Hello. Uh, we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, first up is the Lotus Apartments Expedition, created by Coaster Freak one he says, I did not have enough time because I had exams, and so I haven't finished the coaster station, and I have no theming, but he submitted it anyway. So. And, yeah, kicking things off with a bang, already a DQ. <laughs> uh, it does Aww. not hit the 3,000 meters in length. It is an inverted two-seater, uh, which is kind of nice to see an inverted coaster, so that's cool. Um, but Way yeah. Out too. It's, it's going to score zero, unfortunately, because it does not qualify as an exploration coaster. Um, but we'll give it a ride. heard a groan from you, Galcian. What are you thinking? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Could use some finishing and smoothing, I'm sure. I see, Usually like... when you go into inversions, you want to go a little slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I see, like, the nice beginnings of a exploration here, you know, like... Mm -hmm. The starts of the terrain and stuff. I can see where he's going. A lot of times, time. a lot of times, and I've seen this many times, a good coaster can be messed up by just having a lift hill that's a little too tall. Yeah. Yep. And when I say that, <laughs> 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 and I, you know, as absurd as the things I've built, there have been times where I take, you know, a 1,300 foot tall lift hill and turn it into 1,100 feet tall. Yeah. And Lauren made a good point in between uh, videos, and I think I'm gonna in the future if if there is a coaster that is disqualified, I'm not gonna showcase it, and we're just gonna do that in the future to save time and to respect the people who actually did um, put the effort into meeting the requirements. So just so you guys know, in the future, don't try to submit me a trolled coaster, <laughs> and we will not accept it. So. And if you're going to troll, at least make it fit the requirements. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Yes. No, you can troll me with a, without a failed coaster. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful. I hear all these challenge accepted. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you if you can troll successfully with good ratings and a good layout, I mean, what no, no, I you agree. might just win. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> you might just win. <laughs> I'm not even going to be mad at that. All right. Next up is the Descent Asian Mine Train Coaster. It's so long I can't read it here. Set in the Himalayas um, by Ooh. Kurt Machine Head. And he Ooh. says this Ooh. ride features custom Asian music and custom sound effects oh. and triggers. For the best experience, wear headphones and set oh. the on ride music to just 20% and make sure the sound effects are 100%. Great ride any time of the day. And this looks gorgeous. Like, oh, it's absolutely it's, beautiful. It's amazing. It's 7,500 feet. Oh Whoa. my god, it looks so damn good. Like, holy crap, good. Like, this looks like so something that could be So he didn't meet the distance requirement? You're no. Saying? Shame, oh. too, because this looks like... I really like the the, the, the yeah, terrain work and the paint. Is that um, a polar bear? Like, like, I don't know about you, John. This is something that would be spotlight worthy. It's so cute. It's definitely spotlight worthy. It's great. Yeah. Now he's DQ'd, are you telling me? It's 7,500 feet. Yeah, uh, he's not 3,000. 700 shame. meters short. Good. <laughs> uh, two DQs in a row for the middleweight bracket, guys. That's a shame. You've got too, to represent is... your middleweights. Come on. I'm not even trolling. I mean, this is like really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like some of the scenery in it. Well, yeah, we're it still gonna ride it, right? We're still gonna ride it. Six point one nine excitement, four point seven three fear, and a one point five seven nausea. And honestly, I'd like us. I'm. I'm still gonna rate it and kind of see. I would do track view on this one, so you can like. I was gonna stuff. say back of the train. Would you guys prefer I, track? Uh, 
Pra yeah, yeah, either way. You can do however you want it. I mean, I have it on. I know I that. I say, too, doing Asian buildings that don't look like silverettes is, a, is actually cool to see because most yeah. people just do exactly what he does. Mm -hmm. These don't look like his at all. I mean, I, I mean it, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that bridge is beautiful. And this little, like, bridge cover. I don't know what you call those things. This is like the this most dis this is like the most disappointing disqualification. Yeah, yeah pretty I much. Agree. Like, it has a big cred lift. Like this, like oh, something and it's, that could it's be like doing... top ten coasters. <laughs> it's, it's creaking, <laughs> and the lift is falling apart. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, sorry, you're disqualified, but you get second on top ten coasters. Yeah, I put you <laughs> higher than second. Well, here's the thing, guys: is you don't get to uh, I know. you the. By winning, you get a POV. That's how you get mm -hmm. in the top ten. So you have to finish in the top three of your category to get into the top yeah. ten. So, yeah, this... Yeah. In some cases, I wish he submitted this for Coaster yeah. Spotlight rather than this is, the contest. This is great. I mean, just look yeah. at what he's doing with the snow just coming right on the track. And... Yeah. Honestly, yeah. whoever made this, I would recommend you show Frontier this. There's a good chance you'll get that on there. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So smooth too, with a difficult track to use. Might be a little bit fast coming around that yeah, one spot. Yeah, a little fast. A little fast. Okay, it's really fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a little behind you. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. Artistry in the layout is beautiful. I love. Could have probably used all this speed for like. Another 3,000 feet. Yes, yeah. agreed. <laughs> oh, actually, only needed 700 meters. Well, I don't know how many like feet. A couple yeah, feet. 10,000 yeah. feet. It's like within like 30 feet. It's really close. Mm -hmm. I love how he has the terrain just coming over the track, and it looks like snow. Yep. Yeah. It's been like it doesn't, it feels weathered. It doesn't look like terrain. It actually looks like snow. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm heartbroken right now. This is like yeah. the landscaping version of stuff of the thing Extraordinaire did, the uh, spinning coaster. And the little yeah. uses of the the dirt painting, he's used them perfectly. Like dried oh. up certain spots and the little like uh, uh, ditches and stuff. It, mm -hmm. It's really well done. Ah, oh, I'm sad. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. This is oh. gorgeous. This, if it was 700 meters longer, this definitely could have, like, oh, I don't know. We haven't I, seen I, the we rest can't yet. I can't imagine it definitely been in the top three. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we're fanboying out on this, so. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Sorry, Kurt. One day we'll get a qualifier. Yep, hopefully the next one. <laughs> We only got six We're left. Counting on you, Dragon World. We're <laughs> counting on you. We're coming up on Dragon World. All right. So the next is Dragon World: The Adventure by Life Pause. I got nervous when I saw the front of it. <laughs> His only it. comment is that any time is fine. Any time is fine. Uh, Iron Fury uh, stats: three point two one excitement, seven point seven fear, or seven point seven six fear, three point. Four six nausea and six thousand three hundred meters in length. Uh, you got to pass some of your length over to Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Look at all this craziness. I love the little turret, like the whole front facade terrain thing. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, looks like a platforming game. It does. <laughs> what is this? We got like a dragon nest over here. Cool. Floating track. It's cool. He's actually disabled all track supports. I'm not a fan of that. Especially on a yeah, interesting wooden choice. coaster, because the yeah. tracks are so beautiful. I mean, the supports are so beautiful on these tracks. There's yeah. actually some points where he has them, too. I mean, it's rare. Well, I do know some track pieces, you, like, just can't disable supports in some cases. I mean, there's I some that's that... what happened here. No, there's some where he has them. He flat out has them. Some crazy G-forces well, on this one. It's also curious ready? if 
you're gonna hide that much supports, like why choose like a wooden coaster? Because they have the worst supports in the game. I don't know, you know. Like you maybe could have used just a single rail or something. But I don't know. Well, I mean, this is a there is a certain friction. To this coaster. Oh, look at this yeah. lift. That is weird. This it's is dragging weird. you forward. What is happening to me? The music's like dubstep or some Planet Coaster dubstep. Or <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> oh, I like the water. It's definitely creative. Uh, mm -hmm. It's definitely confusing. Yes. <laughs> creative. Yes. All right, now we're going. Holy moly, got to the top. Whoa, what in the world? Dragon World. Oh, look at that. That might be one of the strangest lift hills I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I, just as I thought we were at the top, we started again. Now we're at the top. <laughs> Not necessarily a bad thing. Pretty cool vista down there. I think that train is a crocodile right there. Or a dragon. It's a crocodile. <laughs> crocodile and dragon. A lot of breaks. Music is throwing me off. Oh. Okay, wait, are we underwater? Yeah. It's long. See, mm -hmm. it's a crocodile. You see him? <laughs> yeah, that's totally a crocodile. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> it's literally a copy of that dragon uh, gargoyle thing. <laughs> I'm thinking no. brontosaurus. <laughs> but it does kind of look like the crocodiles in Donkey Kong Country. Yes, yes. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm talking do. about. They do. Mm -hmm. Didn't they call them Kronk or something? Yeah, Crocs. No, Kronk. Yeah, you're right. No, they're Kronks. Yeah, come on, people. Make a Donkey Kong Country coaster. Yeah, but what happened to... Yeah, Kai um, Rubik's. <laughs> hey, Rubik's, yeah. Yeah, you need to, like, make a coaster out of that. He made the boarding station. I know, that was incredible. Another lift hill! It's I like the 17th lift hill. I think. Oh! I really like these little dragon... Cubicles. Dragon nooks? Cubicles. Nooks. Yeah, good cubicles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the trippiest, <laughs> one of the most trippy, <laughs> unconventional coasters I've seen. <laughs> Dragon cubicles. Uh, <laughs> can't get over that. At least it qualifies. How many? How many oh, typewriting uh, dragons did it take to make this coaster? <laughs> I guess that thing was a black hole. Oh, dragon's nest. That's what it was. 
you guys didn't see it, but it, the little dragon pops its head out if you go by it at the right time. Oh. Oh. Pirate Cove. Ooh. All right, we're starting a whole new coaster now. <laughs> ah, Kraken! Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to add a whole nother coaster. Yep. <laughs> that's what it takes. <laughs> Look at this lift compared to the other ones. Oh, I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> so long. I just noticed there's this random waterfall in the background. Oh, yeah. Like, way off near nothing else. In the middle of nowhere. Ow, ow, ow. Secret pirate treasure. Cool bridge. Oh, and it's all on fire. Tree. Ooh. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Underwater again. Oh, I'm exhausted, guys. That, that that took a lot out of me. I am visually <laughs> over like spiders down here. I am visually <laughs> overstimulated. I, I think it's a good thing. The ADD coaster, definitely. <laughs> and then there's this random like uh, Dr. Seuss White house at the end. House? Yeah, <laughs> White Cider House. There you go. This is the ah, screw it coaster. Get her done. I mean that in a good way. The throw it in coaster. Oh, screw it, I'm putting it in there. <laughs> oh boy, that was Woo. crazy. Well done. Life paused. Life did pause for a moment there. Yeah, I think that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, great. All right, next up is Expedition The Journey by Morgan Morgana Kessler. And their comment is ride on the front bumper, front seat, or back seat. That's it. Front seat or back seat. Can by front canyon bumper, I guess Oh, it's a mean... Canyon Runner Mine Train. We saw that with the um, second one by Kurt, right? And those are the only two that we've seen so far in this whole contest, I think. Uh, ooh, barely making it in. 3,093 meters. And excitement's a 3.82, 2.82 fear, and a 0.29 nausea. Sorry, what would you say, Lauren? Right I was just saying by front bumper, I'm assuming they mean track view, right? Yeah. Everybody, oom with me. Um. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Lauren. Um. Uh, I heard that I a little bit. Um. I was. Um. Um, oh. What is... Is um, the game broken? <laughs> the no, it just has a really large um, queue, so it has to empty. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Finally worked. Our meditating work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> it seems so dramatic. <laughs> Where's this water coming from? <laughs> hey, doesn't matter where the water's coming from. It's coming from the <laughs> pipe. From the rock. Yeah, I was going to say, there's these things. The pipe in the terrain, come on. <laughs> you have to suspend your disbelief. Never. Logic. Yet you enjoy my coasters. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy all coasters. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> the unenjoyment coaster contest. See how uncomfortable you can get me. Oh, we know of one at Cedar Point. I'm not going to tell you which one, though. <laughs> Ooh. 
is nice. Mm -hmm. Good use of the that trees on this totally not related to the... <laughs> Again, good use of trees. Mm -hmm. Doing it the right way. Yeah. The boulder work here is really nice. Yeah. Meshes in with the actual terrain nicely. Mm -hmm. It's flooding. will say with these like mini lifts one thing that can alleviate the mini lifts problem is to build one really big lift and then just gradually go down throughout the ride rather than staying on the same general plane yeah yeah so i do it usually or you could have one crazy mega drop and then bring it back up to just slightly below where you were the other way i do it I prefer the big mega drop, but with the mine train coasters, I don't think you can drop it that steep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. You, cert you could certainly do it the um, way I did it in Westworld, with one big lift, and you just kind of gradually bring it down and let it pick up speed, pick up speed, pick up speed. Breaks into a lift. Is that the fifth lift now? Yeah, it's a lot of lifts. <laughs> so I feel like mm. if you just the track outside of the lifts I enjoy. I almost feel like if it was just... If you imagine five coasters, and just they're all gradually more further up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. Other than it going, you know, one coaster <laughs> finishes Sprinklers lift, one amazing. coaster finishes lift. Yeah, I agree. But outside the lifts, I actually enjoy the layout. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did a good job at exploration. Hmm. One more for you, Galsian. <laughs> well, that's kind of really cool. Yeah, that's another neat train go by. He has some of those uh, those difficult triggers too. The mm -hmm. ones that end. Yep. First triggers. It's nighttime now. Got a bunch long. of them. All right, there it is. Next up is the Golden Mountains Railroad by Quail Tail. Uh, and they say both day and night are okay. Just take a look at both. Link for the sound and the ride in the description of the Steam Workshop page. Holy crap! This one's long. Ooh. Let's see. I mean, duration-wise. Five hundred seconds. Whoa. It must be going slow. It'll be like the average speed is twenty miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Four point seven six excitement, three point zero eight fear, and a point six nausea. And yeah, forty four hundred meters in length and five hundred seconds in duration. It qualifies though. We got another mine train. A lot of uh, mine trains in this one. Oh, I heard the chains. Oh, here we go. I'm not there yet. Holy crap, no wonder. It's like the longest queue ever. I should have just pushed play because I'm going in track view anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, how come the rings didn't go off? There were some splooshy splooshes. Yeah, I don't know. And there again. The triggers I are too late. Yeah, I think no. the triggers are too late. Is right up on that terrain. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier now than it was a month ago. <laughs> yeah. I love it. 
You used to have to edit the track. You have to. You used to have to build it through the terrain to do that. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. I'm like five seconds behind, so I'm gonna save that. And then boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at this bridge. <laughs> oh, I love the detail on that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we're going pretty fast. I don't know why the duration was so I'm long. I'm guessing we're gonna have a lot of lift hills that maybe weren't pushed at the max speed. Oh, the chain lift speed. That makes I'm sense. Guessing. I can see why the duration is long. I mean, mm -hmm. 20,000 feet on a mine train. I mean, mm -hmm. the last one I did was 25,000 feet and had a 1,200 foot drop and went like 150. It was still two and a half, it was still like five minutes. This one's doing almost the same with a mine train. Long. It actually kind of reminds me of a coast. There's coasters kind of like this in real life, not exactly, where they really are really, really tight to, to the terrain, and they don't, they almost don't, they don't have a lot of hills. They just kind of wind through the terrain. Hmm. There's some coaster enthusiast there that's going, "Damn it, Kelsey, you know what it is." <laughs> uh, say in the comments. Picking up some major Alpine speeds coaster. right here. I think that's what it's called. I think they're called Alpine Coasters. Oh. I want them to introduce the bobsled. Oh, I know. That I want to see the bobsled, and I also want to see the wooden bobsled. There's a wooden bobsled. Ooh. Only one of them. The Canobles. Like, you, you have to have that for the Arctic map, so hopefully oh, yeah. this winter. Mm -hmm. One of those classic ones, too, that was in the original RC today. Yeah, it was so good. And you would always, like, crash them by accident. No. People would always think they're, like, absurdly long. They'd be, like, 4,000 feet. But the banking on that was nice because it literally was, like, a shell that, like, surrounded yeah. it. And yeah. you had to kind of, like... It's like a water slide. Yeah, you had to really bank it properly. <sighs> Otherwise, people would just go flying out. All right, is that the end? Yeah. I... No, it's no. not. No? Nope. <laughs> Wait, that's not the boarding seat. That's just the beginning. <laughs> Holy drive wheels. Wait, is this the end? That's I not it. No, it isn't. No? It just hangs out here in this servicing bay forever. Oh, maybe that's why the average speed is so low. There's a block section. No, it's a block section that is... I'm literally on three times like... fast forward. Yeah, oh, yeah I was yeah. on it for a while, too. Yeah, it does it. Yeah, for well, all of them. This... Okay, well that makes uh. sense. Unless that was pretty cool. Which all right, next up is Mountain Rider by Race Mius. How do you say his name? Racemius? Racemius? Racem what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand and eight. Uh, <laughs> Alright, any instructions? Um sorry, I lost my place. Um he says time seven AM. The name of the roller coaster in the file is different since he forgot to change it. It is Mountain Rider. Look at this big gully. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too that bad the coaster cool. didn't come racing through here. Feels like a lost uh, opportunity. Or missed opportunity. Alright, let's check this out. So we got another uh, single rail basilisk. 7 excitement, 5.28 fear, okay. 1.3 nausea, almost 4,000 Good ratings. Good ratings. Good ratings. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mine was close too. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that lift. I feel like that's going to be the only lift. I hope so. Look how long those supports wow, are. That's that is ridiculous. a long lift. Holy. 
This is why this game needs custom supports. This is why this game needs custom supports, though, because they really shouldn't look like that that height. Yeah, it's weird. Can they even ever get that height? Theoretically, yeah. This coaster technically has no limitations because it's a concept coaster made by RMC, and they've said that the limitations are really whatever is ordered. Hmm. It's supposed to be a lot cheaper to make because it's one piece. Hmm. Which also makes it easier to make up high because it's not as heavy. Interesting. Actually, why I use it so often. Makes the most sense to make that way. Smooth. Mm hmm. I just wish the it, uh, the terrain came up mm. with the coaster rather than the supports being so high like that. Yeah. Because we're, we're, we're not really exploring when we're that high up in the air. Shame, too, because I actually really like this track. Yeah. It's very smooth, yeah. Very smooth, which is not easy to make. Doing all these turns and pivots and keeping that smooth is very challenging. Ooh, nice view there. Yeah, that's spent, pretty. Spent many a times in the editor trying to get that smooth. And when you actually are in the terrain, it's well done. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. All right, next up is the Ice Queen by Segs. Look at this rock formation. And she says, please ride at night and please, pretty please, only in the first train. One particular <laughs> trigger point relies on being in the first car down the track. Thank you. Heart mm. emoji. <laughs> Heart emoji. That's the first emoji we got. <laughs> Bonus points for emojis. Oh, look at this gully. Oh, that is oh. gorgeous. That is Yay. I'm in love with this top layer of terrain. Yes. That's cool. It's eggs. Bless your face. It looks I don't like know, <laughs> I don't know what she looks like. <laughs> it almost looks like frozen magma. It does. Yeah. It's neat. It looks natural. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, good another night. one. Alright, I'm pumped up. Let's uh, check out the coaster. What do we have here? It looks like a corkscrew of some sort. Uh it it's is... a dive athon. Wait. There we go. Hold on. Oh thank goodness. Okay, there's two dive coasters that we did not allow. This was the no, this only totally one, the, yeah. the only this one is... that was allowed. Um, this is... Yeah, the f one and only person so far to use the dive coaster. I am pumped for this. I'm even more excited than I was when I first saw it. Now <laughs> that I know it, it's a dive coaster. 4,000 meters in length, 260 seconds in duration, 7.01 excitement, 4.91 fear, and a 1.44 nausea. And she said she wants us in the first train, and it's very important, so we're going to just close it up and retest it. All right, here we go. Oh, look at those I like marks. this left hill. That is pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, good use of lights. I like it when people use like purple, blue, different shades, not just that one blue. And it's yeah. light purple with a light blue and a yeah. teal. It's like yeah. a really good combination of cool colors. Mm. Well, Ooh. Like Ooh, lightning effects. Cool. Wow. Nice. What a beautiful view. Oh, that's nice. Crystals. <laughs> Crystals. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that was really cool. Look at that oh, hand over there. Yeah, That's... I was going to say, you see the claw. <laughs> that was cool. Does it have five fingers? 
Yeah, I think I'm only at three. <laughs> uh, mm, unrealistic monsters. Not enough. Not enough fingers. Johnny's gonna DQ you. I really like these. No, I, I really like these lighting effects. These are amazing. She's timed the light, uh, the lights, and the sound of lightning to get. Oh, look at the uh, the castle through the ring. She captured that composition perfectly. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, this is smart. Very clever. Very well designed. Oh, look at right through the five finger hand. <laughs> hey, you just got bonus points. Five fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, perfect. Just when you can't see, she hits you with lightning. Oh my god. Holy moly. This is a beautiful vista mm. here. Oh. I like the little bits of lighting around the water at the bottom, too. I love these little cave dives. Yes. Right through the huge cave. Oh. I'm not going to lie. This, spoiler alert, this might just be my favorite coaster out of the whole competition so far. Yeah, I'm, layout wise, I'm definitely with you. Uh, it was a smooth coaster for a dive coaster, too. They're, they're usually really rickety. Yeah, very smooth. Am I only... Oh, did you see that face? It I went from red to blue? That was awesome. Oh, look at all this writing on the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had, like, that ton of writing. And so the legend goes, the Ice Queen heard tales of precious gemstones within the nearby mountain, rumored to possess formidable powers. Oh, the... Yeah, rumored to possess formidable powers. She sought to take the gems for herself and ventured deep into the frozen caverns, but the lure and power of the rare stones was greatly cursed. Her soul was ripped from her body and trapped within the very mountain that surrounded her. As punishment for her crime, the Ice Queen's soul would forevermore guard the gemstones that she herself had once craved, protecting such power from ever reaching unworthy hands. It is said that the mountain lives and breathes to this day with an unseen force most explorers dare not face. Beware, it is not for the faint of heart. That's really cool. Yeah, the text is beautiful. Yeah, she managed to get those billions of signs <laughs> shoved in there pretty My good. My only gripe with this whole coaster was the lots of floating supports. And mm -hmm. uh, there was a couple times where it did like a, a twist and, and back up and there was nothing holding it together. And that just, for me, just broke my immersion a little bit. Uh, no, You know, it's just no supports, I don't think, anywhere. No, not many. Yeah. No, don't it's a little unfortunate. Next up is Arctic Explorer by Shane Turner. And he says it works best at 12 p.m. And this is what he has it set to in the game. Uh, the coaster station is under terrain. The starting camera is at the entrance of the coaster, though. And this is also his first non-test exploration coaster. All right. What's with the log flumes and... Go-karts. I wonder if he was doing this as a project already. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, 4.26, 4.27 excitement, 2.9 to fear, and a 0 0.71 nausea. Uh, 3,419 <gasps> meters in length. Galcian's falling asleep on us. Whoops. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> she waited to hear what I said. <laughs> She's like, please, Galcian, No, I was, no. I was looking at how many we had left. <laughs> please, Galcian, say no. <laughs> no. We had a wooden coaster yet? Like an actual normal yeah. wooden coaster? Yeah. yeah. I think we had one. We had a, that big glowy orange one. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. I think there's another one. So many, my brain is mashing. Well, the, the one from Kurt, wasn't that just a wooden? No, that was a mine train. Oh, right. Mm. Can use a few dips and valleys in there, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. A little banking. Yep. A lot of banking. <laughs> Help. Good 
actually helps to sink those lights in. Yeah. A tad, a tad redundant. Yeah, there is, I would definitely work a little bit more on the banking, your ups and downs. When it, when it gets that speed, you don't want to just run it straight. Uh, you want to try and burn that momentum out with some hills. And uh, when you get those hills, that's a great opportunity to fill that area with um, terrain, uh, caves and hills and all that stuff. All right, there it is. Boom. All right, everybody, that's all of the middleweight submissions. And uh, next, we're going to be moving on to the heavyweights, which is the advanced builders. And we have two experts in that division as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to come check out the, the heavyweight submissions. Uh, there's 11 submissions for that. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Bye now. See you.